Hi everyone. So today before we get into the episode, I just want to say thank you so much for sharing the first episode and all the love and support that we got. We're so excited today to be with our second guest in the kitchen of Brittany Brave, oh. comedian, Beyonce, biggest fan. Generational inspiration. Yes. Yeah. We're going to be cooking something. We're super excited to tell you about that. But first, yeah. we should pour a glass of wine. Yeah. Why yeah. Not? Yeah. I'm yeah. upset it hasn't been poured yet. I know. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. So excited to have you on the show. Yeah, should we cheers? Cheers. Oh wait, I didn't make eye contact. You get like 11 years of bad luck or whatever. Is it bad luck or bad Bad sex? sex. Are they different? We don't know. No, they're not. <laughs> yeah. they're not I have a lot of bad luck with consistently having bad sex. So cheers. <laughs> cheers. cheers. <laughs> Teach me how to say it because I don't know how to say Teach it. Teach me how to say it. Okay, let me try to channel my grandmother's when I say Spaghetti aglio e olio. Okay. If you're more authentically Italian than me, feel free to sound off in the comments and let me know how wrong I just pronounced it. Um, but it's basically, it's just, it's angel hair pasta with sauteed garlic and olive oil. It's a super simple dish. It was like a go-to in my house. Um, I think my mom is admittedly upset I'm not doing something more ambitious. Like she's like, big ZD, Steph Peppers, come on. I am super excited to make this dish, especially after everything you just said. That was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get started. Let's do it. So what do we have here? We've got eight cloves of garlic, some grated Parmesan cheese, crushed red pepper flakes. Of course, we've got some EVOO. We've got parsley for a garnish, pinch of salt, and of course, some pasta. Wow, we have some amazing ingredients here. Do you want to handle the garlic? Yes, I would love to handle the garlic. I'd be honored. So, I know, it's a really good, it's a good job. I know. So, I just, I love garlic. I love garlic too much. It makes I feel like it makes dates awkward sometimes. Like Never. I'm just like, can I have extra garlic? And then I just shove like a clove into my mouth, and he's like, oh, I can't wait to get up on that. Just uh, let it out. This is anger management. Anger That's what every cooking session what do we is for have Italian to be angry women. Angry about when they're like the harder they chop, the more your husband needs to sleep with one eye open that night. Woo! You hear that? Be careful. Yeah, I'm just curious, like. How do you know that that's your calling? How do you know that's what you want to do? Are you just kind of like, oh my God, like, I'm funny. People think I'm funny. I think you just kind of, you kind of know. Uh, I think a sense of humor is something that's like pretty intrinsic. Um, but I also think that you have to be able to cultivate it. Uh, in all seriousness, I come from a very funny family. I come from a family that everyone in our family has a great sense of humor. Uh, we laugh through dark times. Yeah. So I think we rely on on laughter a lot and right. um it is it is it is like helpful when you're like going through something really tough to be like you know what like it totally is i'm a funny person never known any other way to deal with something other than to laugh at it going into comedy full-time you made that transition yes what is what exactly is that you gotta rip the band-aid you gotta go to an open mic yeah you got it you have to tell and now even like a, you know into stand-up you always have to tell that joke for the first time and just be like it's not gonna be perfect mm -hmm. You know, it's it, it might be really painful, but it's, it's you have that. to start. And sometimes starting yeah. is just being like, I'm gonna do this. This is who I am. This is my choice. Yeah. Like I'm gonna be a comedian. And stopping making excuses too. Yeah. You know, like or like waiting, or like waiting for. Because I think yeah, th that was really the whole point of my question as well. Is like there's not necessarily a how to on how to do this. I'm talented, and uh, I think I can produce this for a mass audience one day, you yeah. know, at some point. Uh, right now, mass audience is usually like 11 people forced into a two drink minimum <laughs> at 11.30 p.m. on a Tuesday. But like, hey, you know what? Sounds we, like my kind of party. It's, a, it, it's I've, I'm thriving. I've <laughs> never been better. I know what they say, um, prep, sober, cook, drunk. I'm just kidding. Is that what, they, oh, I was like, is that what they say? By they, I mean me. I was um, like, why have I never heard this say? And obviously in this one moment in my life, I'm an authority on culinary this techniques. This is true. This is true. Yeah. Okay. So we have to abide by your rules of the kitchen. Yes. So what do we do? Okay, cool. Um, so let's get a nice little fire going, a little bit of heat. Yeah, that's a good amount. Cool. I'm um, oh, passing yes. the olive oil. Um, this is on you. EVOO. -E uh, e -E um, it's good for cleansing sins, warding off spirits. Um, this is on you. I need a safe word when it comes to olive oil okay. and garlic. Okay. What do you want it to be? Pineapple. Pineapple. Yeah. Great. That's like every couple safe word. Everybody. No, shut up. No, it it's not. Yes. It's yours. <laughs> no, no, it's You know yours. what? I'm like. <laughs> I hope you're comfortable with the fact that I don't I don't use measuring tools. There, I was like, there's no measurements. This Lucy, is not... Lucy, baby, we trust our instincts here. Ugh. 
I love that. I love that. So I just like to coat the pan. This recipe in particular, I think I love it so much because you can kind of go ham with right, the olive right, oil and garlic. Right. And it's all depending on your palate. So you were saying earlier yes. that you made this Hello. huge transition into comedy. And I'm just curious if someone was watching this and was like, hey, you know, like I'm really interested in that. Totally. What would be some of the first few things? And I know it's probably different for everyone, but I'm just curious, like what are some of the first few things you had to tackle? Go all in. Uh, if you think you're funny, probably funny if you think something's funny it's probably funny um i think it's a very like instinctive thing that we all follow yeah. it is a lot of it's trial and error and it's being willing to fail and to bomb and to to toil away yeah. at this thing that there is no rule book for yeah we'll start with like a baseline level okay. of oil okay um and then once we're nice and comfortable we'll kick it up a notch i love it you're like, like really emerald? easy yeah kick it up a notch <laughs> bam, bam. <laughs> first things first is the garlic okay great so good. Want me some fresh garlic? I love garlic. I'm I know. telling you, this is the perfect smell right here. It uh, it's always anytime anything smells appetizing to me, it's it's usually like garlic and onion sautéing. Mm. Um, so good. It is so good. Is the water boiling? It is. It should be. You hold See? this for one second. Of course. Throw a little salt on the shoulder for good luck. <laughs> Just me? Just an Italian thing? <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay, cool. Yeah. What's the game plan with the? oil and the garlic um just kind of keep stirring it keep an eye we want it to brown but not burn i'm gonna reach over and grab okay. a little more garlic too this is a win look at this guy winning i know he is you've He's, had some incredible wins recently it's been a good year yeah i would say I, i've been a tiny early brown in garlic if i do this <laughs> It's a little too literal when you're under five feet tall. Yeah. Let's pop it in. Okay. We're very in sync. I love it. I know. You guys are both Aquarians. I know. I think that's what it was. We yeah. like said our thing and we were like, okay, we're same brain. Yeah. I hope it's okay that this is probably going to end up with a good chunk of my hair in the entire meal. Okay. I just shed like an Italian shepherd. I will Sorry. say, I don't know if that's okay, but no. Listen, that secret ingredient of love, this is, that's, that's the that's love. It. Yeah. Your hair. That's it. Ah, if you're Southern, I'm Italian. I feel like our cultures use food as a way to, like... Love people. Love totally. People. Totally. Bridge the gap. Like, when I invite people over and I'm like, I'm going to cook for you, that's, yeah. like, my ultimate gesture. It is. I'm it's like, an ultimate thing. Totally. <laughs> I think you guys do a good job at being warm, and we do a good job at being uh, the psycho hot. I was that's say, what like, I think smothered. it is. Yeah. <laughs> you like spicy. Oh, love. In the South. Spicy. Do it. Yes, all Lean of it. Lean in. Uh, we'll all leave a little bit for the end. Bring okay. it over here. You mentioned something earlier and something I completely relate to in a sense of 2016 and 2017. Ooh, yeah, the dark years. The dark my, years. my dark period. Picasso had one. I know, exactly. Yeah. And that's when you emerge from the ashes. We have a sip of wine while I talk. Yeah, exactly. What did you say about 2016 and 2017? Go on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious. Yeah. You know, what were some of the things that you learned about yourself in that time? Because I think you really can't, you know, like when you emerge, it's like obviously you're a stronger person, but it's like that's the unfortunate thing about growth is you have to go through those times. Yeah, you can't get over it. You got to go through you it. You can't take the shortcut, unfortunately. I mean, God, I wish there was another way, but I just yeah. feel like you – and when, I, when I'm always through the other end, I'm always like, okay – you kind of like you have a different lens, you have a different perspective, but you're well, like, that wasn't okay. so bad, or, or, or yeah, or I like, understand yeah. why that season happened. Totally. So I'm just curious, like what you learned. Yeah, totally. About. That the the phrase, uh, "There's a reason for the season," <laughs> got me through those two years. I think. Um, I think I learned a lot. I, I always consider myself to be uh, a self-respecting individual, uh, and I think I had a lot of things challenge my self-respect in those two years. Uh, of, super abusive relationship, uh, pretty toxic work environments. I had no room for anything in my life that I truly loved and wanted to do. I, I for whatever reason, took comedy totally out of the equation and wasn't doing any of it. Um, so it really forced me to examine, like, well, I, I'm living a life I don't like, and how did I allow all of this in? So how much do I really love and respect myself? Mm -hmm. um, so I think, and that's okay to learn I think that level of self-love and respect got me that far in my life, mm -hmm. but then that was a really important fork in the road to be like, how much do you really love yourself? You deserve more than this, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and I also learned that there's truly, as cliche as it sounds, like no time but the present. Like mm -hmm. just get after it and mm -hmm. get after it right now. And that any time spent in something that's not good for you or doesn't make you happy is is wasted time. You can keep stirring nice and brown. Cool, let's add in the pasta. Yeah, let's do it. 
How's it feeling texture wise? I don't know. You do it with your. It's got to feel like Rapunzel's hair. Okay. Elaborate. Once again, I would like to preface this with my kitchen, my culinary authority. I love it. But of course. This is your kitchen, your but rules. I am along for the ride. Needs, we are along for the ride. It needs to feel like the soft, malleable blonde hair I wish I had when I was growing up. That's what it needs to feel like. <laughs> Please, I wasn't allowed to do this at home. We got to do this now. We got to throw it against your the wall. Your rules, your kitchen. Let's go. We got to throw it against the wall. Okay, I'm going to get you a nice handful of noodles. Don't try this at home. Build a nice little design on the wall. Go to town. Maybe so we what can... are we what are we looking for? Uh, we're looking what for... What do you want to happen? It has to stick and it has to be steadfast against the wall. That's okay. how you know when it's al dente. Okay. I believe. We don't want any motion. We don't want it sliding down the wall. I really want to know. It's not the first time for You're me like, to... You're like, I don't know. But I have some shit I have to let out. So let's just do it. Ready? Right? Right, let's do it. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Santa Maria! <laughs> I'm throwing all of mine. <laughs> Santa Maria! <laughs> Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Is it done? I, mean, I feel like it's done, right? I'm going to do one more wall. just to check. <gasps> Why do we... Oh my God, would you look... If you look at it, it vaguely looks like the outline of the country of Italy. Right. Yeah. Maybe right. that's the wine talking. All right, so in with the pasta. Yeah, what do we mission. have next? Okay, this is your nice little hearty helping. Okay. <gasps> A little bit of parsley. And you know what? You inspired me. Yes. Just lay it on there. Cheers. Life short. Eat the cheese. Eat, Eat the, the extra cheese. cheese. My right, short. Here you go. This warm. is mine. I literally can't wait. This is. I'm so excited. This smells amazing. I want to top it off for you. You're in my kitchen. Yeah. Look at your hair. Put a little extra. I, love I in already it. told you. I gave you a heads up. <laughs> extra protein. <laughs> That's it. Uh, when I was going to create this dish with you, I didn't really mean like, you know, a literal little piece of you. I and pour a myself piece into of... everything I do. Okay? <laughs> Quite literally. Uh, give me some chips. Oh, I'll hook you up. I'm going to get a fistful. Yes. Yum. Is that a good amount? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. There you go. Is it not so, it's so spicy? <laughs> <laughs> like, I love spice. Even for me, too. I love spice, but like this is next level. Like right. I'm sweating. I like I like a good spice, <sighs> but I think we overdid it with the red pepper flakes. Um, but the good news is my sinuses are cracked wide open. That's the whole point of passing recipes down between generations is to make it your own. Okay. I'm like a little bit proud that I got the Southern girl to say something is too spicy. Yeah, I'm, this like, is like also new territory for me. It's like you yes. threw pasta on a wall and I made a dish too spicy. It's like we are in uncharted territory. I feel like I'm a better person because of it. Uh, uh -huh. Truthfully. Mm. So good. I'm proud of myself. I don't know. You should be. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for inviting us in today. Thank you for coming over. I mean that. Mm -hmm. And like even opening up to us the way you did, like sharing your story, your culture, this meal means a lot, truthfully. Thank you so much. Happy to do it. Thanks I'm completely here. inspired and completely in all of you and everything that you've been through, and I'm excited. Like, you're what's next. I'm excited. Oh! You heard it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that works. Reese speaks it into existence, and then it's reality. That is how that works, actually. Yeah. yeah. I love that. So, thank you so much. Of course. And thank you guys for joining us as well. Ciao. Over and over. See ya. Thank you.